my music kids out there i am back for another album review it is chris brown's heartbreak on a full moon 45 tracks 45 tracks he's giving us i'm gonna say it again 45 tracks now this is when you can tell an artist has been through like life like everybody going through life now but i'm when you go through life as an artist, like artists are just a regular nine to five person. It don't matter. You can tell, you can hear it. He's just, he just went hard on this whole album. Like I'm here for it. A um, lot of features on here. Not a whole lot, but there's features on here. But um, you have Dage Loaf on here. Janae, I give me um, Lil Yachty, uh, Usher, Gucci Mane, Yo Gotti. A Boogie with the Hoodie, Kodak Black, Future, Young Thug, Ty Dolla Sign, and Verse Simmons. Um, R. Kelly's even on here. Um, just to throw this out here, though, because um, I'm hearing, you can tell that, you know, these artists, of course, they travel around the world. Um, but you can tell certain ones, like Chris Brown, who travel the world, but they take in, like, the cultures of each country that they visit they you know fat from fashion to their music to their food like the culture like they take it in and they bring it back people are starting to like i mentioned on the jadena i don't know if i'm saying that man's name right or not either but you can tell when artists are um like reggae's been around for years like you know we had our like America, we we know like Bob Mar the Bob Marley, the Elephant Man, the Beanie Man, um, Kevin Little, uh, Rihanna. Her names like T. Y. G. Dena, Wiz the Kid. Like we're starting to see like more and more artists uh, from like Nigeria and the Caribbean like bring that flavor here. Like it's becoming more popular. Like people are starting to ride the the wave. It's one thing to to take influences from around the world, from different countries, and kind of put your own twist to it, but it you just have to make sure it's done appropriately. Um, but again, that's what I'm starting to hear uh, more and more as I listen to people's albums. Uh, you know, Omarion, uh, Kendrick Lamar, you know, he, he's been putting, you know, the Jamaican accent on a few of his tracks. Um, but yeah, and I wanted to throw out like a few songs that you can tell he put his own like spin on it as well. And this is like R and B, um, songs that he kind of referenced. Uh, so like hope you do, you can tell that's a, like from the Donald Jones song, uh, where I want to be. And then like juicy fruit that's from M tune old school um, old school band uh, the juicy their song juicy fruit he put a twist to that one usher nice and slow um is on there i forgot which song that was i didn't put that on there but um and then you know another song i don't know why i didn't write those um for the usher song i forgot which song matched to his nice and slow uh track and then Michael Jackson's Remember the Time. It's also on one of them. Um, I don't know if it's Hurt the Same or I Love Her. I don't know. I Love Her. That's It, it made me think of like a bohemian, like kind of, I don't know. I got that kind of um, sound vibe from that song. Um, and then Handle um, featuring De Dej Loaf. Just them, Dej Loaf and Lil Yachty. They're... Uh, on the handle song it sounds like popping the way he the way he sings it i'm like this sounds like popping so it's just a lot going on it's a lot to take in um of course you know there's tracks on here where you can it it's clear that he's um referencing he's talking about uh karuchi and there might be a few songs on there about rihanna or whatever but you can definitely tell that's what he's, you know, relationships with them are, yeah, with them. And um, 
you know, he has his party songs on here. He has his, that's what you're hearing in here. You're hearing um, different culture influences. Um, you're hearing uh, love, hate relationship tracks. You're hearing lustful tracks. Um, but you get, he's giving you like the whole package. And it's, I'm so, like, it's so exciting and it's so, like, it's hard to explain, like, what this album, you know, has done for me. Like, it's just dope. Like, for him to, because you, you can buy artists, uh, CDs out or stream it, whatever, what have you, and they'll have 12 tracks and you might like one song or two songs or some singles that they came out with. And not like the song, the out, al the album at all. But with him, it's just amazing. Like forty-five tracks from beginning to end. Like, and I know people was like, "I got stuff to do." Like Cat Williams, I got stuff to do today. But I had to listen to it like over the the weekend and stuff when it came out over the weekend. I had to listen to it, and I was just out of town, so I just played it all the way through until I got to my destination. Um, but from beginning to end, it's just amazing. Like he'll one minute you 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 know jig into a track and dug in and whatever. Not dug in, but um, what is it called doing the molly walk? I don't know. He's dancing. There's so many dances out here. But one minute you dance into a song, you're getting into it. Next minute you probably thinking about an ex or. Your, your man or your woman or what have, whatever partner you choose to be with and then the next minute you in the Caribbean somewhere or overseas somewhere um, just vibing out I don't know this album takes you everywhere it it there it's an emotional roller coaster art it is so like I can appreciate artists like art um, Chris Brown who they want to give us great music, good music, like amazing music. And it's, I know it has to be frustrating to, you know, you want to cater to your fans, but you want to make sure that what you put out is deserving of our, the consumer's coin. Like, you know, we don't like wasting our coin. That can be for food, you know, gas a little bit because you know gas is high as hell so can't be that much but um yeah it's so i appreciate him for taking his time and to just give us 45 tracks and because i'm pay i'm not patient to certain stuff when in you know in life but when it comes to music i can wait like I can listen to your old stuff. I can listen to the mixtape you just released. I can listen to the song that you was just featured on. It can hold me over. I'm not that impatient. Even with artists that are like my favorite, like my top up in the top, I still cool. I'm gonna let you live life, do your thing. Cause I know when you release something, it's gonna be dope. Like all the artists that I've done, um, did reviews on um, recently. You can tell that they done took their time and cause I don't, I'm not going to do no album review if I don't, you know, cause if it is, if it's that bad, I'm not going to upload that. Cause what am I going to, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about cause I didn't like it. But, uh, yeah, if I, I, I just appreciate artists who take their time regardless of other supporters who, you know, are impatient and they're like, it's been two years. It's been da 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 da, and you take it too long. You need to release something. You need to release music in an album. Now you y'all see what you get when you wait, when you patiently wait. You you get up. Christmas done came early to my top because I ain't you know y'all gotta listen to the the album for yourself and you, you gonna feel how I feel because it's it's just dope. Like it's dope. Like it's amazing. Y'all, other artists won't release 12 tracks and Alan Trail tracks. You ain't really feeling nothing but one or two songs. That's terrible. He released 45 and, you know, you can listen to it from beginning to the end. You know, if I was in the music industry, um, I would be worried about right now. Uh, 
as far as R and B goes, you know. Yeah, it's just, it should motivate you other R and B cats out there to you know, go hard, go harder with your album. See, you know, that's what it's about. Like everybody up here talking about so and so better than this artist and that artist. No. There's room for everybody. You just gotta learn you know, you just got to see your competition for what it is and just stay in your lane and and don't listen to their stuff. Like he mentioned, don't listen to their stuff. Just stay in your lane, though, and put out, you know, your best work. Put your, put your best foot forward and, you know, just be passionate about it when you do it because I feel passion all up and through this album, okay? Uh, but the main, I'm going to start from the, the end to, and go up because you know a few of his singles have already been out so but these are the songs that get like I done played them out like, other n word I ain't seen it I ain't seen it you like I love pills and automobiles of course with your guy now um no exit summer breeze sensei party uh hope you do to my bed everybody knows Handle it, tempo, rock your body, confidence, um, heartbreak on a full moon, the name of his title, um, questions and privacy. Like, I like all of it. All of it. Like, all of those songs. Hello? Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so they... This whole, I, I don't even, I can't, like, ugh, it's just everything. I said what I needed to say. It's up to y'all, you know, comment below. There's 45 tracks. I know it's hard to even choose your favorite song because the whole album is just dope. Like, um, But I really like questions. I really like it because y'all know me and my reggae. Shout out to my West Indies people. Like, I just, <laughs> I like it. But, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching and comment below what your favorite tracks are, what you think about the album. And I'll see y'all later. And like always, let's love a little bit more out there and let's hate. I'll let y'all later.